Hi, I'm Velda Zex, and today I'm having an overview of this Lucas Swing Lift Mini Crank. Hope you enjoy. So this is a small little crane, what you'd fit on a truck or a trailer. It's uh, made by Lucas. It's called the Swing Lift model. Uh, Lucas, back you know when we had the recession in the in, in, nine, in 2007 and 8, um, Lucas kind of folded. Uh, but I'm not sure whether they were still, this is from 1992, uh, the date stamped on this is 1992. So well, whether they were still trading, selling these cranes then. But these machines now are made by Penny Hydraulics. So if you need spares and that you can go, or you want a similar model, uh, Penny Hydraulics will, will, will sort you out. Uh, they're very, very good. This particular one will lift 545 kilos or 1200 pounds and they're really well made they're a British product um, fantastic hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them up and down uh, the UK um, working hard every single day uh, this is a 12 volt model uh, they have a rule the winch on these are made by rule that took me a long while to find that out um, but I now know I've owned 30 of these cranes um, and here's three of them in this garden here um, and then I've got about four or five in other places but I'm having a clear out so they're nearly all gone now uh, I've been hanging on to this one for a long while because it's an unusual model it's got a longer lift uh, and I'm reluctant to let it go but I believe I know sold it so I thought I'd just do this quick overview you know just to show you what we've got on the machine right I'll bring you in a bit closer so you can have a look at the bits and pieces So what I've done, just temporarily, sorry about that, I've just put a car battery on, I'll show you, I'll put some photographs in. Um, so this would normally be wired up, if it's on a vehicle, you know, probably hardwired to the battery. If it's on a trailer, you'd have a battery box like you would on a, on a tipper or anything like that. So you have your wander lead, uh, this is, you know, kept in your cab or whatever. Uh, this isn't what Lucas would have normally gear. Um, this is like a, a rubber one. Just happened to be what I had here because I needed something with like a worn winch style of plug on it. Um, red side and a black side so you never make your mistakes of up and down, which is really important. This plugs into this box here. It's got some relays in there, like an all brake relay. Uh, that sits in there and that controls your, your up and down, you know, rotation on this winch but there's also a fail safe on this it's got the small little micro switch in the back here which this winch here is bolted at the front one bolt there and at the back it's bolted with a load of spring washers uh, and if you overload this what tends to happen is this will this mountain plate here will rock the micro switch will um, extend cutting the power off you know it's just what happens um, so, and, and most of the times you'll see nearly all the scrap boys or whoever, you know, if, it, if it's not being tested, you know, if you're not having the crane tested, a lot of times you get a test certificate when you buy one of these, you, uh, you disconnect all this because you need the power. Or you put a sheave in and you double your rope. So anyway, we'll plug this in, and this hasn't been used, this has sat here for a considerable amount of time now. So it'll be interesting to see, you know, whether she'll, she'll fire up. Yeah, so she's away. Right, that's nice to know. I've only got it on a small car battery, so there's not uh, there's not much there. So right, what I'll do is I'll I'll move the camera and we'll have a look at the you know the back of the machine. So like I say, your your wires come out in here. Your your two wires. There's only a two wire system, but there is this cut out. You can see there's a little little micro switch inside there you see I'll just unhook it off the frame and uh, so the red button on this particular thing here is your up and your down is your black so we'll have a look inside this solenoid box um, you know, because I'm new to making videos, you know, I can now appreciate 
a good video from a bad one and uh, you know it's a little bit disappointing when you appear to not know what you're doing but I think it's a learning curve and I'm going to do my best to improve for sure but uh, I can see why you want a wide angle lens and all these other things I mean I'm tight for space in this yard anyway it's just no room whatsoever so you know, we have to just make the most of, of what we're doing so here we have it some nice big fat cables coming in and uh, this, has, this has got penny hydraulics on it no, penny hydraulics and that's to say that's the name of the people who who took over this you know, that's hanging a bit loose and need a repair job yeah it's quite simple um, you know if you understand electronics I'm sure if I put a bit of effort into it that'll uh, I'd, I'd actually learn what it is it's <coughs> only, a, only a solenoid to shunt these terminals across I'm sure and, and to all around the circuit so if we just uh, lift it up again which is red you can hear them shunting you don't actually see nothing move and that's all there is to it as I say your, your cable plugs in the bottom here on on all the other cranes which I've owned let's say I've had 30 of these 30 odd 31 30 or 30 or 31 I can't like trailers I had 31 trailers I'm down to about six now just far too many for any man to own uh, this looked like a worn winch type of plug, you know. I can't know if you can see that. I need to get better at this. As I say, that's all that. That's all that's involved in there. Let's just plug that in. You know, you don't normally leave these on. Well, you couldn't leave them on where I live because the kids would be pushing the buttons, and you know. Well, that's when I could park out the front. I can't park out the front now because there's permit parking. So you can't park pissing anywhere. Right. I'll move you around, and we'll have a look at something else. So on these on these lifts you get this this is it's a nice made hook. It's a lovely quality hook you get. You know, even though I'm saying that I that actually hasn't got a stainless steel spring on the safety catch. And obviously if we were having this tested today, it would fail because I've stood this out so you know, I've had these this gear a long lot of years. I had a lot of this stuff, you know, I used to be really into lifting. Um and this has just stayed on the floor there and as you can see where the swage die is there she's all rusty so just would fail you'd never get you'd never get a test certificate on that but it wasn't matter because this can be sold and the chap will just have it so you've got a nice a nice ball weight there to keep your tension on your rope because you must do that even though it's got a spring on the on the winch to, to try and line it all up you know your, your wire gets in a mess if you're not careful so you've got this this nice heavyweight ball on it and uh, we'll just get some calipers. Now, you know, these things, dirt cheap on eBay, practically given to you. Very, very handy for measuring anything. It's not a Mitutoyo or nothing like that. It's just a really cheap Chinese one. And we'll set it zero up. We'll just check what the, check what the wire is. So what we got there. We've got just over six, just over six millimetres, which in inches, 0 0.242, which I ain't even got a clue what that would mean in inches. I don't really understand inches, even though saying that, you know, there was inches at school when I was a young boy. I know obviously what a foot is or four inches. Everyone know what a foot is. Yeah, so that's your that's your size to say these are fantastic things. Help me out no end. Got to have them. So that's basically that. You know, if you're ever going to have one of these cranes, you know, it, these these are uh, crane scales, uh, Chinese, but there's nothing wrong with that. Um, this set here was actually a gift at Christmas. Uh, a friend of mine. I had a ton set. Well, I've got eight ton set, but I had a ton set. I'd sold a pallet of. Um, drilling bits, some uh, diamond drilling bits had to be shipped abroad and I went to Weimar went to Weimar uh, pallet 
and Mahang and Scales uh, went to error. And they were a lovely set. It was a one ton set. Um, and I said to my mate, he come round, he said, oh, my hang and scales are gone. And lo and behold, I opened a Christmas present up and there was a set of these. These are 300 kilo, um, which is, you know, plenty for normal use. You know, I, I, I got some like eight ton scales and less than five ton and what have you, one ton. And I've got a multitude of scales because um, I'm interested in lifting. But had these been one ton I would have set uh, a spring up on the bottom there and we could have put it on newton meters we could have done some tension tests and we could have seen the, the power of this winch on a single single sheave you know I'll just pile these up they're actually very very nice and I've, I've calibrated these and they're absolutely fine you know on, on a vertical you, you know you have to get these you have to get these dead, you know, plumbed. You know, they've got centre and pieces. But she's uh, she's a nice set of scales. And especially as a gift, you just can't beat it. So, yeah, I would have done that. And, uh, you know, if I could uh, if I could have laid my hands on... You know, I've got stuff everywhere. If I could have laid my hands on a on a one-ton set, I would have tested this. Because I know that this, this winch is very, very powerful. And it would destroy this 300 kilo. That will, it will just destroy it. So there you go. Just another thing. Get yourself a set of these scales. That's what I say. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the arm up and show you how that pivots and what you can, you know, the way that seems to work. So when you're using this on a on a vehicle or anything, you know, you, depends what you're trying to lift. Really, if you were lifting kettlebells, you'd never need to really raise the boom. You know, if you're lifting something like a, a crate or a wood burning stove or anything like that what you have here is because these are not a knuckle boom crane you've only got this one axis that you can you know you can move your crane height wise so you have these three location slots here and all you do is you get your shoulder underneath there you lift her up you put her in and like that and it's the same again you, know, you put, her, put her in like that and she's there there are your three, three adjustments. So if we have a quick look, and now she's well up there. So when when you're using these kind of cranes, obviously. You know, it's all about where you want to place the load, and the thing, the, tr the trouble with the, with the, just this one, one thing here is you, you've only got three, three positions where this rope will hang from your cent, you know, from your centre line of your post, you know, to where the rope is there. I'm sitting practically at two foot, well, six hundred, two foot one inch. You know, I'm sitting about two foot one inch, six hundred and twenty mil. So the, so the highest, the most height you can have without the extension out would bring you a, a distance of, of two foot away from your post. So anything you're trying to lift, if it's not a long thing, if it's a square bulky thing, you know, it's, it, it can sometimes hit the boom and, and stuff like that. It could cause you problems. But what can you do? You know, you've got a job to do. You know, you'll get that on that truck. I'd, I'd rather lift it on, you know, assisting it a bit than not lift it on at all. You know, so that's that simple, isn't it? So that's what you got on the high. I'll just move it down, and we'll we'll see what what other, what other distances we have. So you know we moved to a three foot diff distance. So on the second pin is three. You know, I don't know if that'll be a three foot six or something. I thought. Yeah, three foot five. So that's that's the three foot. You know, you've got your distance of three foot five when it's in the horizontal plane. What I've got here is I don't know. You know, you might be like yourself. I'm quite interested in, you know, video and bits and pieces like that. Never really been interested in YouTube. So years ago, I made this. This is an old bracket. I put 
put some magnets on the bottom of it. You can buy all this stuff from eBay. You can see these little magnets. So it's just a CCTV bracket. This bracket here, I nearly lost my phone. This is what they do in the pound shop in here, you know, the dollar store. And it goes on a normal little plastic tripod. Um, I've got that on here, but I've lost the rubber in the top here. There's a rubber little piece which makes the adjustment if you've got a Samsung or an iPhone or whatever. Um, but it's very handy, and you know, I just had the idea of, you know, we can see what this does in angle wise. So I've got my old trusty iPhone here. I'll just open her up. Now I've got this this app here. Is uh, if we go to, it's the eye handy level, right? I'll put a link to it on the thing. So you've got this. So what we can do, we can pop this in. Oh God, even though I'm a bit worried about the phone falling out. We can put this in, and we can we can get some adjustment and see what what angles you know we're, we're getting on that. If it, you know, just 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 the crack. Right. So let's just focus you in on that. Sorry about the old juddery. See if we can go up a bit. Squarer. Right. And what we can do is we just reset that to zero. So now it's on zero, and what I'll have to do, obviously, I'm not going to lift this up from the baseline, and then I'll have to refocus you in, and we'll see what sort of angle we get on the first lift. So, you know, the first, the first raise of the crane from horizontal is raising at 20 degrees. I'm going to do the same thing again on the highest point and see where she go to. Obviously this could be inaccurate or something like that. Who knows? But I'm doing my best. Shaky Jake. Right, can we see that? Right, so that's 46, 46, so we're coming up, you know, we're coming up 45, 46 degrees. Um, so that's a use for the old handy level. You know, it's been on my phone probably five years, and I've probably only used it once. Um, but as you can see, if you get yourself a little rig like this, it's stuck on there, the magnets are extremely strong. You know, it's going to be good. It's going to be usable, that. Right, I'll just... Uh, Zoom out. Sorry, zoom out. So you can know the control in the camera. So yeah, you can see the, you know, the geometry of the way this machine is built. So now we'll have a quick look at how it extends out. So what you got is a lock and pin here. I'll just just disassemble that. It's um, it's got one of them indent balls on a spring, but obviously that's seized up. Would have just pushed it through there, that spring, the little baby spring, push that ball out, stops it, you know, rolling around. Because on a truck, you know, you, you just need it to stay there. <laughs> you know, you don't want it swinging around anywhere. So what you would do is you would uh, you would lower your winch, give yourself plenty of slack. And then you can pull this section out. Like so. got a locking mechanism there and can we see that we've got a locking mechanism there this is quite interesting because I do need to measure this because several people have asked me on the internet you know what is the reach of this particular machine then your pin would go in uh, I guess you could and your pin could go there it probably actually goes back in that hole. I'm, 
this is the only one I've had um, where this particular setup is normally they're just a fixed boom the ones I've had just one fixed boom this pulley and everything would be in here and that's all you've got it's the only radius you've got and there you go you pop that in now from the center line again we've now got we've got a total length to the center line of the hook of one meter four hundred and fifty or fifty seven yeah one meter one meter four hundred and fifty or fifty seven inches that would be your center line so as I say, we measure from the centre line of the, the crane boom, and this is what we can get. There is there is no other. I don't. You can't really see it. I'll just spin you around a bit. Let's just have a look here. There is only that's that's your t you know you can't bring it in halfway. It's it's not got extra extra holes or anything. It is literally that. You got the one section there. This might have been specifically designed they will tailor make you the cranes exactly how you want at penny hydraulics so it's there or there it's your two two angles it's still the same lift this is the interesting thing with these swing lifts that's rated at 545 kilos whether you're lifting from there or it's rated at, i've got a ton one of these as well i've got one of these and i'll i'll, I'll do a overview on that as well so it's the same version as but lift a ton the 545 kilos there the 545 kilos there it's the same it's the same lift so again all we have to do is just pull this pin out which is a bit a bit rusty put a hammer on it pop the pin in safety clip and she's good to go So, we'll have a quick look at the base of this particular model. So if I just undo this and put you down there. This particular crane is on a sub-base. It's on a sub-base which used to be fitted on the apex of the trailer. You know, your A-frame, your drawbar. You know, oh, you can't even see that, can you? So, uh, you know, the, the sub base is there. I'll get you a better photograph on. So, what we got here, it, it rotates about 100 and just over 180 degrees, right? Um, so, we've got some stops here. We've got a stop, you know, practically around. It's not opposite, it's a bit more further around. So, you know, this is welded to this, you know, it's actually welded to this fabricated subframe here. Um, you know, you normally drill and bolt that down or whatever, but they decided to weld it on and that's got a strengthening point underneath. If I, yeah, this is actually seized in this tube, so I can't even sell it now because I need to get a jack under here and, and release it all. So, this is all serial numbered, it's all manufactured and, you know, the weld quality and everything is just fantastic. I've got a serial number on there, it all matches the other parts of it, it's all serial numbers. So we've got an upstand there of 300 millimetres or a foot. You know, more closer actually to a foot. So actually is a foot. That's a foot there, and I guess this is without getting some calibers, five inches round. It's a five inch diameter tube. Um, and in the past, I've had these on a square socket, and I've had I made my own sockets and just dropped these in. This is a round one. I've, I've got. I'll see if I can find some more. Up, you know, I've got a load of parts as well of these. You've got a lock and pin here, which which drops in and locks it round. And then as I say, you can't go no more there, it's up against the stop there, so it would rotate back round this way. And again, that will that'll only do 180, just over 100, probably 190 degrees. So that's basically that. Um, that would have been the original crane hook one down there. I didn't actually measure the base plate here, um, because if you're making one of these cranes up, or you're interested in, you know, what's 500 kilos, you know what kind of base plate you'd want for that and this this base plate is 11 inches square you know 280 mil you know so obviously in in, in geometry and all the rest of it and, and the physics of lifting the base plate of that size is plenty adequate obviously if it's built on or something 
but that will support 545 kilos. All we do is we'll just drop this, we'll get hold of our wander lead, we know black is down. Underneath there, we just put the put a bit of tension on it. You know, and that's it. And we're done plug the lead and job done. Also I didn't show you actually how you fold it up. It's got a, a rubber socket on here where you can you can put your put this boom actually down. So you get your shoulder under there, take that one. That goes in there. And then that'll lock into there. And that's your that's your crane down. You can actually this this will go on there. And you can just tuck that on and she's sorted. So that would be your, your crane all folded where you can just take your tension on that. Remember the red is up. Job done. And she's all packed away nice and nice and neat. And there it is. All ready to go.